Hello everybody and welcome back to the Blue Stock Channel. Today I am back with another Sports Hop Series episode. It's episode number 117 and today I am going to be going to San Francisco and once again going to Crocker Amazon Soccer Complex to watch an SF-SFL match between SF Glens versus SF Vikings. Now, it's been a while since I've done one of these kind of video and one of these Sports Hop kind of episode, mainly due to the fact that there hasn't really been a lot of non-league action or league action that is going on around my area. I mean, the two major non-league and amateur league, the MPSL and the USL League 2, just finished their regular season a couple of weeks ago and are now in the playoffs. But unfortunately, most of the teams around my area is not in the playoffs right now and the only league that is going on right now is the SF SFL and Liga NorCal and that I would have gone to a couple of Liga NorCal matches if only the teams that are playing is not so far away from me and that they're like around 50 and 60 mile away from where I live which I just feel like it isn't really worth it to drive that far and also have to pay about ten dollars of bridge toll to just go to a Liga NorCal match so that being said it's good that the Sports Hop series episode is back after a three week break and yeah hopefully we're gonna get a good game today let's go soccer to ride here at Crocker Amazon soccer complex and by the way it is actually very windy here and that the wind actually kind of cooled off the temperature a little bit but yep I'm gonna go through this gate right here um, I believe the game is going to be on the third complex, so I'm going to just walk through this little walkway and then just get to the third complex here. So I've just arrived at the pitch where this game is going to take place and I actually literally just walked right past it when I was going through that entrance right there. Yeah, there is a game that is going on on this pitch right now and I'm assuming once this game is over, the game that we are going to be watching is going to be on. All right, the match that I've shown you earlier have just concluded. And now, as you can see, I believe these are the SF Glens player doing their pre-game warm-up. Over there, the players that is wearing red, which are the SF Vikings players, are just doing their last-minute team talk. We should be getting ready and set for the kickoff of this match in just a bit. And the referee gets this match underway. SF Glens will be going all white today, going from right to left, while SF Viking will be going all red today, going from left to right, as we're underway on this windy Sunday afternoon here at Crocker Amazon Soccer Complex. There hasn't really been a lot of chances so far in this game. Although, here comes SF Glens here, and, well, that is going to be why there. And the goalkeeper basically read that one all the way. And so looking at trying to loft this one in it's only halfway clear here and it is in the back of the net there as the glens takes the lead there and i'll tell you what i think the goalkeeper thought that that was gonna go wide and i also thought the same that that looked like it was gonna drag wide but somehow it finds the right side of the pose and goes into the back of the net just like that, SF Glens take a 1-0 lead here. Here's a big opportunity for the Vikings to get the equalizer as they got a free kick just outside of the 18-yard box. Well, here comes the free kick. He's going to go low, and it is in the back of the net there as the goalkeeper did not catch that one cleanly, and that SF Viking player was able to tap it in. And as I said before, the goalkeeper, being in this game has been pretty shocking and there's an example of that too where the goalkeeper probably should have caught that one but instead he scuffs it and that Vikings player was able to take advantage of that scuff by the goalkeeper and tapped it into his to his back of, into the back of the net and just like that it is now 1-1 in this game that one is going to be get her to that player and it is in the back of the net there from the Vikings and what a goal that is to take the lead for the first time today that is SF Vikings. Tell you what, I just saw the replay of the goal that that Viking player scored and what a goal that was. But now SF Glens has a chance to get the equalizer and it's off the pose and it is going to be halfway clear and is that a foul here? Referee says no. We continue to play on here, and that shot is going to be blocked away there. It's still not all the way clear as SF Glenn's looking to recycle play. Oh, 
little bow is going to be headed away as here comes SF Vikings on the other end. And that is going to be a foul. Unfortunately, could not capitalize on that bad mistake. And now that is going to be saved by the goalkeeper there as, well, that was a brilliant effort there from that SF Lens player. It put a lot of pace to that ball, but the goalkeeper is able to keep that one out. And here's another effort, and that is going to be just wide there. And I'll tell you what, it did not miss by much as that one was whistling through the top right of the post. This is right around that area that could either go for goal or put it into the box here. And he's going to go for goal, and it is going to be tipped over there by the goalkeeper. Well, I'll tell you what, earlier I said that the goalkeeping has been pretty shocking, and I think both of these goalkeepers have probably heard what I said, because in these last bit, both goalkeeper has been just sublime and making some very good saves here. Comes the throw in, and he's going to go long here, and that is going to be clear the way, and is that a penalty? Referee says, yes, it is going to be a penalty here and a big chance here for SF Glens to get the equalizer as that player is now down right at that penalty spot. Here's a big chance for the Glens to restore parity here from the penalty spot. And he puts it into the back of the net as the goalkeeper dives the wrong way there. And SF Glens restore parity here thanks to the penalty and the game is once again tied up again. It's now 2-2. themselves looking to try to counter here as they play the ball here on that right side. And that's a good decent little through ball. Big chance for the third goal and it is just wide there as that was definitely not a bad effort there to try to take the lead here but he drags it wide there and it's going to be a goal kick and that is the end of the first half halftime here in a very entertaining game it's SF Glens and SF Vikings in a 2-2 deadlock here so it's halftime here as I'm now making my traditional walk to the other side of the pitch. And at halftime here, it's SF Vikings and SF Glens lock in a 2-2 draw. And the scoreline pretty much indicates what happened here in the first half as it's been a very even game and a very entertaining first half with a lot of chances for both of these teams to put the ball into the back of the net. But yeah, hopefully we're going to get something similar to that in the second half. And let's see if this deadlock is going to be broken here in the second half and one of these team is going to get all three points today and the referee gets this second half underway well it's all to play for here at Crocker Amazon soccer complex as both team is tied at 2-2 and let's see who is going to get that crucial third goal to take the lead here in this game here comes SF Glens again and this could be a chance for the third goal and it is going to be saved there easily by the keeper as that Glens player was through on goal and as I said Vikings are looking to try to maintain possession and somehow that ball actually got to the right side here and it's in the back of the net there for SF Vikings and I'll tell you what that was a bit fortunate there from the Vikings as that ball somehow was able to find that man on the right side who was just wide open and he basically slots it home onto that left side of the pose and just like that the Vikings retake the lead as they lead to 3-2 here as the ball comes in into the box and that player is wide open and it is going to be saved by the keeper and it is now going to be clear off the line still another chance and it's in the back of the net there for the Vikings as well they had three chances to try to hit that one into the back and then the first time it was saved by the keeper the second time was clear off the line and then finally the third time they were able to stab that one in as was pretty poor defending there from the Glens who didn't clear the ball away properly and let the Vikings have multiple chances to put the ball into the back net which they did exactly that and now they have 
taking a 4-2 lead here. So we played 20 minutes into this game and it's SF Vikings with a 4-2 lead over SF Clans. And so far in the second half, it's been pretty similar to the first half where both teams had some big chances to score a goal. But unlike in the first half where both teams was able to take their chances, so far here in the second half, it's been the Vikings that their only team that's been able to put away their chances and the Clans have just not been clinical whatsoever here in the second half. So yeah, we're gonna see how this last 25 minutes is gonna go obviously with the fact that both of these teams have had so many chances I won't be surprised the fact that we're gonna see another goal and that by no means this game is done and dusted and here comes the Vikings and he's gonna go through and go and it's in the back of the net there and well that probably is game set and match there as they have now got a free gold advantage and I think that's just a little bit too much for the Glens to come back with just 14 minutes left in this game comes the Vikings again and he's gonna go for goal and it's just a little bit over there as that's gonna be a goal kick here so looking to try to cross this one in and it is in the back of the net there as that is the sixth goal there for the Vikings as good ball play there into the middle and the player is able to tap it in for the sixth goal and it is now a 6-2 lead for the Vikings here comes SF Glens and it is in the back of the net there as well. They do get one back, but in many ways that is pretty much a consolation goal for them as we are pretty much now down to the last two minutes in this game and I highly doubt that they can of course come back from a free goal deficit in such a short time. That is the full-time whistle, full-time here at Crocker Amazon Soccer Complex in a very entertaining nine-goal thriller. It is SF Vikings with a 6-3 win over SF Clans. So just finished here as I'm now walking out of the soccer complex and in the end it was SF Vikings with a 6-3 win over SF Clans and you know the difference in this game was really in the second half where you know once again we had chances for both of these teams but unlike in the first half where both of these teams were at least able to put away some of their chances in the second half it was really the Vikings the one that's been able to put away most of their chances and the glance wasn't being very clinical whatsoever but either way guys hope you guys enjoy this video if you do make sure you guys hit like smash that subscribe button and yeah I hope to see you guys next time with another sports hop series episode <laughs>